Here we are at another Google uh, search tool, which is called Google Trends. And just to get to it, you just need to go to google.com forward slash trends, and it will bring you here. Um, now, before we sort of move any further, let's have a look exactly what's on this page. And as you can see, in this area here, we have hot topics, and it's stated on the home page of Google Trends um, exactly uh, what the present hot topics are, what Google is finding within its database, and also hot searches. Um, what particular, you know, the, the most popular hot searches are at the moment um, with regards in the United States. So it's it's going Bank of America, Witch Hunt, FBI, Wes Walker, Foot, Oregon Basketball Court, etc. So, you know, what's recently popular and what the hot searches are. But for our particular um, uh, query, we're going to actually, you know, put in a key term here and see what it actually um, delivers to us. So let's let's type in a term and um, and see you know what 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 that returns for us. So let's put in here. Um, let's put in for example again the lose weight scenario. And we'll click set search trends, and it returns to us a graph again going back 2004 to present day. As you can see, this particular search term has increased quite steadily over the years. It was pretty flat 2004 then suddenly at the end of 2008, 2009 started increasing and 2010 was um, uh, you know pretty big. Um, as you can see here there's little tags at A, B, C, D. What that sort of sort of denotes where there's sort of spikes in, in traffic volume is that there may have been something pretty big or something product got launched or something like that and and it's sort of like just tagging the areas where there may have been something significant online re regarding this term and it's sort of tagging those particular spots on the graph where this sort of took place. Now where the sort of magic happens here is firstly it gives us the countries around the world in order of preference where this particular term is most prevalent. So United States is the first. Now, this is a funny thing. Who would have thought Ireland, of all places? Singapore would have been, you know, we would have thought maybe the United States was in the top three. But who would have thought Ireland or Singapore? Now, again, if you're running a um, AdWords uh, or any cost per click, uh, cost per click campaign, uh, sorry, pay per click campaign, um, again, you can geo-target these particular countries because you know that these particular countries have high search volume on this particular term. Also, it's telling us which cities have the highest um, searches for this term, lose weight. Uh, who'd have thought Richardson, Texas, St. Louis, Missouri, Houston, Atlanta. So, in fact, you know, we, we click on the United States at the, at here, it will take us to the actual sub-regions. So, we could actually geo-target just Mississippi. Mississippi seems to be number one, according to Google, where people are searching for lose weight. Who would have thought Arkansas? But, you know, this is pretty accurate stuff. So even if we clicked on, for example, Alabama, it will break down for us the actual top 10 cities, again, which have the most search volume for this particular key term. So why is this... Um, you know, why is this important? Well, first and foremost, whether you're running a pay-per-click campaign or whether you're actually putting posts out, articles, you know, on your WordPress sites, you could be targeting terms, for example, lose weight in Florence, lose weight Pell City, lose weight Dothan, lose weight Anniston, and so on. And if we go back here, we can go to, let's say, click on North Carolina. And there, for example, is the cities there. So when you could, if you had a site that which was about losing weight, you know who's really going to be targeting? Not many people online will sort of geo-target to Sanford, to Jacksonville, to Greenville, to High Point. You know people are searching under this term in in that area and that locality. These type of this type of data going out on the net, geo-targeted, one has an amazing chance of ranking very high in search. And two, you know that people are going to find it. They're, they're going to, they're, you know, they're going to be interested in, in specifically what, what your advice or what your product or service may be. 
So again, we can just have a quick view on, 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 on any area here. Let's just have a look, go back to the countries. Let's just go to, for example, Australia. And again, sub-regions are broken down, top 10 cities. And we can just go into Queensland. And again, these are the particular cities. So you can just play around with this. Um, you'll see, you know, the insights for search um, video, which is along with this as well, which is like an extension of, of Google Trends. But I love this particular facility simply because it gives us the country aspect. And having that, because, you know, you, in, in all your planning, that or whatever you're targeting out there online, to have this type of data available, because like we just put this term in, who would have thought Ireland of all places? You know, normally when people are, are, are setting up campaigns in, uh, in AdWords, then, you know, it's logically always the USA, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom. But then but you, people forget that there's specific high search volumes in countries that you would just never would have thought of. And the cool thing is you actually are doing PPC or, or uh, you're going to be doing, um, you know, posts and articles and stuff on your WordPress blogs and, and websites. By actually entering these terms and targeting it this way gives you so much so much advantage against the competition so again guys use it use it to your advantage because I promise you if you if you do this and you set it up properly I guarantee you that you will get the traffic and the sales that you want